Are you frustrated that your puff just isn't big enough? You want it to be longer? Well, I have a magic trick for you. Go ahead and keep watching to see how I achieve this beautiful pineapple look. I know y'all want to know my secrets. <laughs> Tune in, y'all. Alright y'all, so I'm going to be using these beautiful clip-ins from Curls Queen and all the information on these clip-ins will be in the description box down below. Now guys, the clip-ins that I used were the Kinky Curly 4B to 4C clip-ins and they were in 20 inches. So guys, I'm really glad that I went ahead and did it in a longer length. You guys can go ahead and get them shorter if you want to, but to achieve this long pineapple look, then you guys have to get them in 20 inches. That's the, what I recommend. But if you wanna go 18, 16 and do like a shorter pineapple, then that's fine. I know I keep on saying pineapple, that's cause I'm fine as hell. I'm not gonna say pineapple because you know, you gotta claim it, claim it. So I'm gonna go ahead and start off by washing these clip-ins. So, what you want to do is co-wash. I use my conditioner to usually co-wash my natural hair as it is. So if you guys want to, you can deep condition. But just because we're going to do like a wash and go style, I would recommend co-washing. So ignore what they say about the quarter size. Go ahead and get you a handful. I mean a whole handful. Grab it like you have never had any conditioner in your life. This is the last batch you can get. Now, I say this because you want to really get this hair moisturized and deep conditioned. Well, not deep conditioned. Deep conditioned to the degree of a co-wash. So, you're going to go ahead and put that on the bundles or the clip-ins rather. And let those lather on the clip-ins for about 15 minutes and then come back and wash them. Now, once you wash them out, you can go ahead and begin your style. In the meantime, you should be getting your bun ready. So do everything that you would regularly do to the clip-ins that you do to your natural hair. So if you detangle your natural hair, detangle your clip-ins. If you let your hair sit for about 15 minutes, let it sit for 15 minutes. But everything that you would do to your actual natural hair, take care of your clip-ins just the same way. So now that our clip-ins are ready, it is time for us to add them to our hair. Now I'm gonna go ahead and detangle the hair because whenever it comes to defining the curls, we're gonna go ahead and do that step last. If you wanna define the curls before, then you can go ahead and do that, but I would recommend defining the curls last just to give that last bit of oomph mm that we want to our hair. And you wanna make sure that the hair still has volume, so go ahead and brush it out and detangle later. Brush out, detangle later. And honestly, I define the curls that we're showing the most anyway, so yeah. So what I'm gonna do is add the clip-ins to the hair like so, and I'm gonna do this with about four of the clip-ins. And I know it looks crazy right now, but there's a method to my madness. Trust and believe, there's a method to my madness. So once all the clip-ins are on, it is now time to start on the fine apple. So you wanna go ahead and get another rubber band or scrunchie and put the scrunchie, like apply it in the middle of the ponytail. And now you're going to fluff out the hair from the top, kind of like a sock bun. If y'all used to do sock buns back in the day, gonna go ahead and fluff the bun out um, on, or rather the ponytail out so that it distributes all across the perimeter of your hair. i
once you're done, it is time to go ahead and start the defining the curls process. So guys, I really don't have time to show y'all how to define curls. You know how to define curls. So I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm not gonna waste my time. I'm just gonna go ahead and do it and uh, we'll come back and see how it looks. Voila! Now, bobby pins are a great tool to go ahead and put inside the hair whenever you want to go ahead and put the, uh, the curls in place to not make sure that they are all out of whack and you want the fine apple to just stay looking fine, looking sweet. Now that I've shown you guys the actual pineapple look, it is time for a bonus style. So guys, all you have to do for this bonus style to get this beautiful bun on your head is sweep the hair from the front towards the back and tuck it nice with a bobby pin. That is all you have to do. And any extra hair that you wanna go ahead and get rid of if you don't want like a messy looking bun in the back is just to tuck it more and use another bobby pin. And that's all that we have for this video, guys. So I hope you guys love this natural hair tutorial. I love giving you guys natural hair tutorials. So if you guys would like some more, go ahead and let me know in the comment section down below. Like this video if you liked it. Comment down below what you liked about it. And subscribe to your girl's channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Y'all make sure to check out Curls Queen. All of the information on these clippings will be in the description box down below. And uh, if you guys have any questions, go ahead and reach out to me on my comments down below as well. Stay blessed and beautiful, gems. Smooches. Hit me up if you wanna make love, but don't call my phone.